Hi and welcome to a new video. ChatGPT is a new and popular AI-driven chat box developed by the organization OpenAI. Unlike a generic bot, this technology is designed to create a human-like conversation with its users. Despite the lack of an iOS app version, ChatGPT is still easily accessible via the OpenAI website. In this video, I will show you how you can download this shortcut on your iPhone. Let's go! To begin, open any browser on your device. Visit www.openai.com and click the Try ChatGPT link embedded above the webpage. If this is your first time accessing this website, sign up to create your own account. Otherwise, log in to your registered email. Once logged in, a few succeeding disclaimers shall appear which basically informs the user that ChatGPT is still in the research stage. And so, every interaction will be recorded to further improve its performance. Simply click the Next button as they appear to proceed to the main dashboard. Once the ChatGPT's main dashboard loads, click the Share button and press Add to Home screen from the menu to add the shortcut for your quick access. You can rename it for additional customization. By default, the official web icon will be applied automatically. Then tap on the Add button to confirm and save your changes. Now you have ChatGPT on your home screen and just one tap away from exploring its features. From the dashboard, use the text area below to enter any requests or inquiries that you want to know about. After typing in your texts, tap the Send button and wait as ChatGPT generates its response. What's truly amazing is that this is not your conventional one-track question and answer session. Instead, the AI remembers the contexts of your statements, thus creating a dynamic human-like conversation. For your additional information, you may encounter temporary access errors when visiting the ChatGPT dashboard. Due to its increasing popularity from the general public, the website can be congested at times, caused by overwhelming user traffic. If this happens, give it some time to load and try again later. And that's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.